Welcome back guys! Today we have another video and actually today I'm taking you with me to Edinburgh uh, for thrift shopping and charity shopping because we have more charity shops in UK rather than thrift shops so whatever the concept is, um, whatever charity shop you have, you know, sometimes it's a I don't know, Dock and Cat, sometimes it's a um, Scottish Heart, sometimes it's um, Salvador Arm, you know, there's so many different uh, charity shops, there's so many different causes, like cancer research as well, and you basically, whatever shop you're going to buy, the, that money going to be, it will be supporting the, that particular cause. When it comes to thrift shops, I think it's just basically more like a business type of idea. Some of the thrift shops as well supporting some of the charities, you know, but uh, anyway, we're going to go to Edinburgh today. I was yesterday, yesterday already in Fall Creek. I managed to buy really, really good pieces. And today we have a second day and we're going to go to Edinburgh and check what they have over there. I am, um, once I'm going to show you some stuff, how, how it works, and how, what, we, what we found, you know, um, because I'm going there with my mom and my kids. I'm going to show you the process, how you're choosing, how you, how the shops look like, looks like basically. Um, mm -hmm. I'm losing my my voice. What is important when it comes to thrift shopping uh, is to have, for me personally, is to have a list and try not to buy stuff that I don't need. So enjoy this day with me. So Edinburgh Castle. Okay, guys, I'm back from charity shops in Edinburgh. It took us uh, maybe three hours to in Edinburgh to maybe even it was more like four four hours, I think. Um, to be fair, uh, this shop in Fall Creek, um, the charity shop, uh, the charities in Fall Creek, I feel like we got more stuff. Um, in Edinburgh, my mom she just got one blouse. We were in five different stores and I managed to get uh, trousers. So managed to buy the Levi's jeans uh, in the car I really, really wanted. And I'm going to show you stuff in a second. But it just makes me so happy that we managed to buy so many things in two days and I can get rid of some other stuff, like old stuff from my wardrobe because I got those and um, it's honestly fantastic. Fantastic experience for the first time thrifting. Um, and I honestly, I don't think I'm going to shop ever again from like normal shop. And all, on top of that, the app, I told you before, the Vinted app that you can sell, but also buy you stuff. I think those two are such like thrift shops and a charity shop I will put in one category and plus online buying from the use like eBay or uh, Vinted app are really fantastic sources of for you to find really really good quality stuff for a fraction of the price you would pay normal and also support the environment. Which is great, you can, you just win, it's a win-win for, you know, so many um, different, you know, things. Tick here, tick there, tick here for environment, tick there for um, saving some money um, from, like, your budget. It's amazing. Honestly, it's so, so amazing. The black trousers, they cost me six, if you can actually see that, six pounds. And... They are perfect in a, like my leg, legs, so they are very like attached to my leg, very like that's perfect size. When it comes to, to the, 
when it comes to um, stomach situation that are a little bit too big so I need to wear uh, some kind of belt with it or I might talk to Peter's mom she's actually um, has her own shop she is a tailor so she might um, help me with the, them as well a little bit like too much quite a lot so probably we could take some from the sides from each each side we could probably take something but even if I would go to like tailor and uh, pay for it then it's not going to cost me more than I don't know maybe 10 quid to just like adjust them 10 15 pounds plus I paid for them six pounds so that's still uh, what 21 pounds I'm not going to pay 20 pounds pounds for a um, good pair of jeans you know what I mean so I think it's a really, really win situation. Just need to make sure that they are on the stomach area a little bit more fit, but that's sometimes what it is with trousers when you're buying, like, you can sometimes try them. There's a charity shop, sometimes they have like a fitting room to try stuff, but most of the time uh, I found they don't, and I can't be bothered really to try items when I have two small kids, you know, it's just no chance, no chance. So I'm just literally, buying the size you know it's something cost five pounds i can always give it back to charity my local charity they can resell it or i can just um sell it myself if i want that i am so so happy honestly i was just checking them on vintage you can buy for maybe 45 quid used one levis uh, levis um On, uh, plus you always need to check the normally on the like pocket area there is a like logo over there so um, those are perfect slimming 512 straight leg which I wanted straight leg which makes me very happy happy bought them for um, eight pounds and um, and those have 60% of cotton and what else? 23% of viscose and 16% of polyester. Better th give me just a little bit, like maybe centimeter more movement, like in my uh, belly area. So that's perfect because you don't want them to be too squeezing. Just, just you know, for comparison, the charity shops are the cheapest, and I think then you have the. Um, Vinted and obviously uh, any other things like Ebay's are more expensive than Vinted. Yesterday in Fall Creek, in Fall Creek, we had we saw the Chanel shoes, original Chanel, like made in France. Blah blah blah. Was not my size. It was thirty eight. It was like a white leather uh, quilt type of um, summer ballerinas, if you want to call it this way and cost 20 quid so you can buy them for 20 quid and I was like wow I could buy them and sell them on vintage but I was like do you know what let's just leave them for someone who will come here a 38 size I don't um, and they're going to be like so surprised they're going to be so shocked and loved and feel like oh they were meant for me <laughs> but I bought oh I sorry I forgot to tell you I bought a trench coat let me grab it and you'll be like, oh, stop it, stop it, you. And yes, I didn't buy a trench coat. It's much, a little bit bigger than my size, but actually it doesn't matter because it just gives a little bit more movement. And again, I'm still thinking maybe we take some little um, fabric from, from my sleeves. That's what my partner said maybe we should do, but it's fantastic. Let me put the camera somewhere higher. It's really, really cute. I bought a coat, imagine, a coat, a trench coat that it was on my list actually and guess how much I spent for it. <clears throat> I will give you a second before you can write it in the comment how much do you think I spent on my coat and I did spend for it, thank you. Okay, so it's 55 cotton and 45 polyester, lining 100% polyester which is always lining 100% but it's, stop it, it's just a coat and 10 quid even like i was checking on vintage like from primark people sell for 20 quid you know what i mean so i'm very 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 happy it's a very classic color that i wanted i'm just loving it you know i was wearing it today when we were going to edinburgh and i just love it i just love it love it okay i'm going to finish this video here so so glad i give it a chance 
for thrifting and for used clothes that we can just, you know, say hi to them. Hi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just finishing here because it's getting crowded. Uh, honestly, you need to give it a chance. Just go at least to two different shops. <laughs> whatever place you live and give it a chance to see maybe for yourself that you might find some gems and on top of that you're going to pay just a friction of price and you're going to be so much better for the environment rather than buy a new one. So I hope you enjoyed that video, if you did please leave it a thumbs up and I hope you have an amazing day today!